Got any Australians? Yeah. I thought you'll be in the bar. What are you doing here? I did the Melbourne Comedy Festival. I love Australia. It's great. It's a superb. Any, any New Zealanders? Any Kiwis? There you go. Who's got the most sheep? <laughs> Who do you think? It's Australia. I looked it up. Uh, 22 million people, 155 million sheep. That's 686 sheep each. No, it's not funny. It's statistically correct. That's all it is. <laughs> Sheep are the least dangerous critter in Australia. By round of applause, who's been to Australia? Yeah. Well, you know then, they've got some dangerous animals there, haven't they? Red back spiders, kill you in a minute. Box jellyfish, snakes, snakes that are so venomous, if you're attacked by one of these snakes, you only have time to say, I've been bitten by a snur. <laughs> Crocodiles, in Britain, we've got squirrels. Sharks, sharks. While I was there, I read in the paper a man was nearly killed while diving on the Great Barrier Reef for what was reported in the paper as an unexpected shark attack. <laughs> I've got to thinking that's not unexpected, is it? If you're diving on a reef, it's unlucky. I'm human, I sympathize. It's not unexpected. An unexpected shark attack will be if you're wandering around Walmart, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> And you stop and look at the fresh produce and the great white jumps out of that would be <coughs> unexpected, wouldn't it? Eh? <laughs> Dutch, any Dutch? Lovely to see you. I went to Amsterdam recently. I was doing gigs at Toomla and uh, the Groningen Comedy Festival, which is great. And I went there and I got stopped by the Dutch police and searched going into Amsterdam at the airport, Schiphol. And uh, whether you know it or not, drugs are tolerated in Amsterdam, cocaine, cannabis is legalized in Amsterdam, so logically, what could I be stopped and searched for going into Amsterdam? Fruit. <laughs> been looking for fruit. And if I get, get done for smuggling fruit and got in a cell with hardened criminals, what would you talk about? What are you in for? Murder. What are you in for? Arson. What are you in for? Concealed banana. <laughs> and you know the great Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh? Vincent van Gogh, you know him? Yeah, yeah well, there's a folklore story that in a fit of creative rage, when he thought his girlfriend thought he didn't love her anymore, he cut off his, cut off his own ear and gave it to his girlfriend. And she said, thank you. And he said, pardon? Then she said, I'm going to the bar to get a drink. Do you want one? He said, no, thanks. I've got one here. <laughs> Welsh, any Welsh? Hello? You're right. The town with the longest name in the world is in Wales. Longest name in the world is called Lamfair Will Gwyn Yil Gogri Jondro Williams Yasili Gogogo. 57 letters. The guy that named it was fed up at losing at Scrabble. And I was in Lanfair doing a gig, and I, said, I went to a fast food restaurant, and I said to the waiter, can you say the name of this place slowly so I can get the pronunciation? He said, of course. He went, Burger King. <laughs> Let's hear it from all the Americans in the audience. Americans! <laughs> I sincerely love Americans. You've got a positive mental attitude. You've got a generous spirit. You always want us to do well. You're winners. Americans are winners. You always win the Baseball World Series, don't you? <laughs> Why is that then? There's only you in it. It's not fair, really, when you think about it. No, the Canadians are in it, aren't they? Yeah. But we're allies, aren't we, Great Britain and America? We're very proud of that. Lovely being allies. Allies. Didn't used to be. American War of Independence. We were the enemy, weren't we? We were the Redcoats. Redcoats. That was a dumb choice of uniform when fighting in a green field, didn't you think? <laughs> A red coat with a big white X across the front here like that. <laughs> and our tactics were to walk slowly towards you. <laughs> Closing the range. And your guys are just going. <laughs> Dumbass.
Please give it up for Martin Boma. Once again, everyone, show some love, Martin Bowman. Come on out, Martin. That deserves another round of applause. Absolutely, absolutely.